Okay, David, so a 1-0 win against 1874 Northwich today. That that must feel good after our run of performance, it's, or it's, run of defeats. It's so. certainly needed. Um, yeah. But the performance was, was good. I don't think it was great. Um, but I thought it was it was good everywhere. I don't think we had a player who had a bad game. I thought the centre-halves stood up and stood up to be counted. They went and uh, they went and won the headers. They went and won the tackles. They organised. We asked we, we asked a lot of them to today to really step up in Killer's absence. And I thought they were superb. The full-backs were good. They got forward when they could. The quality was there. Uh, Tom Watson made a great save in a one-on-one -on -one in the first half. I thought the midfield dropped on every second ball. They had quality. Wingers were a good outlet and provided provided uh, decent balls in, decent options in behind. And Eden just never stopped running. He probably deserved a goal for the graft he put in. Um, it was it was good. And then lads, you know, lads came off the bench. Bailey came on and showed things up. Um, Sean just just asked a different question. Um, and there were three disappointed lads who didn't get on. But the, the mood in the dressing room is so different. And we've talked in the week about confidence and mentality and. You can do so much in training around technical and tactical and what you want to do, and you can do bits of fitness, but the, it's really hard to to influence that confidence and that mental mental state in two and a half hours a week. Um, and that win, that result, you know, the the way in which we did it, I think as well. Hopefully, we'll just give us a lift now for the last six games. Uh, like you just said, there's it's hard to highlight men, any single player, I suppose. But I'm going to try and pick a couple out for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so Kane Hickman picked up the captain's armband today, and a proper captain's performance today. Kane's somebody we've we've thought about giving out a band to before. We've talked to him and he never really wanted it. Um, it it's kind of not Kane. He just wants to go about his business quietly. But I thought with where we were, um, I wanted somebody to lead by example. Um, as I said today, we had to outwork the opposition, and you know you'll get that from Kane. But I, I had a chat to him before the game, and you know it's about doing what you do, but also make sure if you're working working your balls off, everyone else is doing the same, and you don't accept anybody not putting hundred percent in. And you saw, like, he, was, he, he dug a few out on the pitch and then did what Kane does. He was on every first ball, every second ball. He was an outlet. He, I thought he was a, a real captain's performance today. And, like you said, Eden Bailey up front, he, he played a central role, played out wide last week, central role today. Unlucky not to get a goal with the, the red card challenge coming in on him, but a, a proper performance from him as a number nine today. And he probably is more of a nine, and last week it was we were looking to accommodate something slightly different, and we were looking for him to play as like an inside forward um, and play around Keo. This this week with, with Keo having a bit of a hamstring strain, it was an obvious thing to change it and give him that run down the middle. He never gives defenders a second's rest. He's, he's always riding around, he's strong, he's, he's decent in the air for his height, he's quick, um, his movement's good, he, he's, he's got pretty much everything you need of a centre forward, and um, yeah, to say he was unlucky, he made the right run, he was through and, and you'd have backed him to score at that point when he when he got brought down and he had another one that he, he got away just after that and it, it sort of bobbled up and, and then just checked his stride so um, he, he provided so much, when you've got that at the top end of the pitch it lets your midfield get 10 yards high, it lets your centre arms get 10 yards higher um, because you, you're confident he's going to be ratting and stopping quality coming in behind you so um, big part of the win today. And then last of all Kai Payne um, made his he made a starting debut last week anyway, uh, started again today, he, he was outstanding, took his goal really well, but just overall performance was excellent from him. He's, he's got a bit of a, an all-round midfielder, he tackles well, he passes well, he, he's very good in the air, um, he gets around the pitch, he's mobile, um, he arrives late into the box, he had a header second half, he didn't quite get any purchase on and, and he had a similar one last week. Um, he, he's got that, that kind of box-to-box -box energy that you need. Um, I thought it was superb. I think the goal was something a bit special. That was a great strike. But I almost lifted him in confidence as well. And a couple of things he did just after that were were, were really different class, really top quality. And um, we can keep telling me how, how highly they rate him, and you can see why. You know, as a as a player who's coming on loan, you, you're never quite sure. Um, slightly different with Eden because we we've seen him, we played against him, we knew exactly what we were going to get. We've seen him at this level. But Kai, you're never sure when you get an 18 year old coming out into men's football for the, the first time and um, he's been he, he's just stepped straight in he, he's, he's making it very difficult for me I mean Nicky's had to play left back again today um, Bailey's had to miss out and you've got five jockeying for three positions in there which is a nice problem to have player destined for for big things do you think I think so I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him knocking on the door of the first team next season um, he, he's got everything he's going to fill into his frame a little bit and, and hopefully this this spell these couple of months he's having with us just makes a a big difference in that transition and development. There's a big difference between 23's football and, and men's football, and and this will give him a taste of that. What it's like to come up against a 28-year-old bloke who's going to nudge you in the back and 
going to ask a different question of you that you don't really get in academy football. So I, I think so. I think him and Tom um, have, have both got bright futures. And um, a clean sheet. How, how good is that for you, especially without uh, Shane today? Yeah, Shane's a huge loss. Um, um, no Jack Grundy, no Ben Richardson, uh, Freddie still missing. So when you look at that that back four, that was pretty much the only back four we could pick. And we, we did say we needed we needed performances from them, we need them to stand up and be counted. And I thought all four were superb. And you, you look at Will Archon and, and Josh Dickin, and they, they go in doing the thing. Yeah, you know, I've, I've asked questions of them a few times about not being strong enough with headers. Will won one in the second half, that went about 60 yards. Josh didn't lose header all afternoon. That that's what you need, and, and it's what Killer gives you. And you know, hopefully, you know that that's a platform for them to and gives them a bit of confidence. The young lads, they've they've, they've stepped. You know, Will Josh has stepped up into this league for the first time. Will's had a torrid time over the last couple of years with injuries. Every time he's tried to get in, he's picked up another little injury, another little niggle. He's had a few games at Erlum, which I think has helped him. Um, hoping that gives them both a little bit of confidence and just think, you know, I'm back, I'm, I'm fit and I, and I belong here. And, um, if they do that, they very, very good um, Northern Premier League centre-halves if they can do that consistently. And we move on Tuesday night, League Town away. Um, we spoke about last season, this this was a bit of a horror show and League Town was another one of your horror shows last season, another chance to go and sort of set the record straight for you. Yeah, and, and League lost today. Um, and, and I think we, we need to go there with confidence. I thought we were good today. Uh, it's a tough place to go. They're a good side. They've got good players all over the park. But we've said before, we have. I think the difference sometimes is just confidence, just mentality. Um, I think the lift that's given us today, you might, you, I expect a reaction from Leek. Um, they all make the playoffs, a thousand, they make the playoffs. Um, and they, they were unlucky last year. You know, they've been in and around it for the last few years. Um, they'll have a reaction, so it'll be a really tough place to go on a Tuesday night. But we should go into it with a bit of confidence. We should go into it and knowing that it's a pitch we can get the ball down and play on as well. I think that will make a difference. We can, you can trust trust the ball, you can trust your touch. Um, we should make it a, a slightly different game today where we have to be a little bit more direct and a little bit more in behind. Uh, I, I, say, I say this every week, if we turn up right with the right mentality, we work hard, at least as hard as the other team, we've got a chance. Um, so we'll go there, we'll go there looking to get something and stabilise things and try and build a little bit of momentum on the run into the end of the season. Thanks David and well done for today. Cheers Nathan.